There is a very well-known and odd story in the Bhagavata Purana depicting an event that supposedly occurred in the life of Krishna. One day a bunch of young unmarried female gopis, which in Hindu mythology are a group of cowherd girls famous for their devotion and love for Krishna, they were out on the riverbank naked playing in the water. Now Krishna was aware of these happenings and he was luring around the area with his buddies being a little peeping Tom, he came by to quote-unquote reward them for their devotion. Bhaktivedanta Swami comments on this saying, The portion of the river where the girls and women bathe was strictly prohibited to any male, and this is still the system. The Supreme Personality, knowing the minds of the unmarried young gopis, awarded them their desired objective. They had prayed for Krishna to become their husband, and Krishna wanted to fulfill their desires. Ooh dirty little blueberry playboy Cardi Krishna. So he steals their clothes, climbs up a tree laughing and joking. He says to them, My dear girls, you may each come here as you wish and take back your garments. I'm telling you the truth and am not joking with you since I see you're fatigued from executing austere vows. I have never before spoken a lie and these boys know it. Therefore, oh slender wasted girls, please come forward either one by one or all together and pick out your clothes. Now the gopi seeing how Krishna was joking with them became fully immersed in love for him, but they still wouldn't come out of the water naked. They begged him to give their clothes back and if he didn't, they were going to tell the king. But Krishna says, nah, if y'all really my maid servants, then come out of the water with your cute and take your clothes. If you don't, I'm not giving it back to y'all. And if you tell the king, what's he gonna do? I'm a god, bro. He can't touch me. So the young girls finally got out of the water, covering their private parts, seeing their embarrassment. Krishna was finally satisfied. And he says to them, you girls bathe naked while executing your vow. And that is certainly an offense against the demigods. To counteract your sin, you should offer obeisances by placing your joined palms above your heads. Then you should take back your lower garments. I see what you're doing, you dirty, dirty dog, Krishna. Listen to this commentary attempting to explain away this pervert's actions. We should not foolishly think that Lord Krishna is an ordinary lusty boy enjoying the naked beauty of the gopis. Krishna is the supreme absolute truth, and he was acting to fulfill the loving desire of the young cowherd girls. In this world, we would certainly become lusty in a situation like this, but to compare ourselves to God is a great offense, and because of this offense, we will not be able to understand Krishna's transcendental position. <laughs> You can't make this up. Anyways, the young girls obeyed Krishna and placed their joined palms above their heads, exposing themselves and cleansing their sins. The commentary here basically says, don't imitate the activities of Krishna here and enjoy naked young girls in the name of worshiping Krishna. Krishna is a god and has no material desire to enjoy young girls in sexual affairs. But you're just lustful, perverted humans, so don't imitate him. Wait, I thought Krishna was a perfect example to imitate, like Muslims have their child-marrying prophet and Hindus have this pervert, but I guess not. So Krishna was finally satisfied with these naked young girls bowing to him, exposing themselves, and he finally gave them back their clothes. And even though these girls were cheated, deprived of their modesty, ridiculed, and made to act just like toy dolls, and although their clothing had been stolen, they didn't feel any sort of hostile way towards Krishna, they were just happy to even be associated with this blueberry playboy. I hope you enjoyed that magnificent story. Stay tuned for more, and God bless.